How you doing, guys? Guess what? I'm back. I hope you've all had a good Christmas. Right, okay, we're starting off with some reaction videos. This one is called Top 10 Witches Caught on Camera Spotted in Real Life. If you know me, you know I love all this kind of stuff. If you're into it, don't forget to subscribe. Now, this guy's channel is 50M Videos. I'm assuming that's 50 million videos. That's such a challenge. Okay, so he's currently on one point something million subscribers. But go over and subscribe for this guy as well. Let's crack on, shall we? Here we go. A person, okay, let's usually go. a woman, who practices witchcraft or dark magic is known as a witch. Witches are pretty famous in the fiction world, but have you ever imagined witches appearing in real life? There's plenty of they witches were around in, the in real life. Centuries and also used to help people in curing their diseases. Most women witches are, aren't they? They don't even now, know it. But not all of them are nice. Let's look at the top 10 witches caught on camera and spotted in real life. Spotted in real Number life. 10, a real witch in a girl's room. Okay. This video was uploaded on YouTube, and huh? after a while, it started circulating oh, on the internet. Oh, little puppy. People started noticing it and studying it more. No one has been able to prove if the video was fake or real. Okay, now, what's going to happen? Because it gives a mixed feeling. Watch for yourself. In the video, you can see a little girl busy with her homework. Okay. She hears some weird noises, but doesn't know what it really is. She continues studying like a good little girl, but she is not ready for the next thing that is about to happen. She keeps on hearing the noises, but What's doesn't feel afraid. Suddenly, without her knowing anything, a black hand crawls out from under Ooh. what seems like a bed and grabs the little girl. Oh. It doesn't really look like a human hand, and as you can see, the kid vanishes instantly without leaving that a trace. looks like an arm. People say that it was a witch who grabbed and pulled the kid, and no one ever saw the kid again. Do you think this video is real? Hang on a minute. Just bear with me one second. Watch this. Really Watch this. The kid rolls over, and then it vanishes the before trace. it gets supposedly dragged under the bed. It was a witch Watch again now. We'll show you again. No one ever saw the kid again. Do you it think vanishes, the child vanishes before the it gets pulled under the bed. It would be the most common place to look I love for graveyards. A ghost hunting researcher was documenting the extraterrestrial forces and strange artifacts in different parts of Hungary. But what he found was scarier and much more alive. First, he comes across necklaces made from human teeth and an entire abandoned graveyard. When he looks around, he realizes he isn't the only living What's person that? What's in that? the What's graveyard. That? He finds a goth woman Possibly a witch. Seriously, got the shakes. Somewhere. Hungarians are known to be brave, so the guy, instead of running, shouted something. The woman got up, picked up her stuff, and started running. They've always running. got white nightgowns the on them. The guy chases the witch into the forest, but loses track of her because he fell to the ground. Number eight. Sorry, that was another lady. What? <laughs> That's another lady sort of looking for mushrooms. They're very popular, aren't they? A real witch in Scotland. Scotland. In this video, a woman can be seen performing witchcraft on a mountainous open space with no one around. You can see in the video that was caught in Scotland, the woman is making strange signs and movements, removing in circles. She's looking for mushrooms. Circles and shaking her head. She is also wearing a black top that indicates her gothic nature. Oh, seriously? Because she's got a black top on. I've got a black top on. She's a witch. Do you know, I'm just not even going to go there. She looks scary, but it gets scarier when strange voices come from her as she puts her hands up in the sky and moves around. She's just getting comfortable, you know what you magic. do in a poncho? She stays there for a while, which seems like she's waiting for something grim. We're sure that it is a witch performing magic, and it is truly a terrifying scene, due to which the guy who recorded the video couldn't stay there for long. She's just got her brows uncomfortable. She's just sort of, you know, repositioning herself a bit. And she's doing a Scottish jig at the same time. Sorry. <laughs> He's got a great imagination, this guy. Number seven. Witch sighting in Mexico. <laughs> Mexico Good is one of the I really like the B-rolls in the world when it comes to witches. By the way, if you want to watch this video without me rambling, go over to his channel, subscribe, and go and watch it without me rambling. Kill a person... All you need is a black cloth doll, some thread, a human bone, and a toad. To kill a person. Oh, and you must ask the devil permission in person at a cave in the hills where he is said to appear. This video was captured in Guatemala and Mexico. The kids are seen jumping into the river, enjoying a hot summer day. 
The camera was there so the kids performing acrobats could get recorded and later review them on the tape. Little did they know there was a witch nearby. While reviewing the tape, uh, they found something very strange in the what? top of the video. There are figures That's moving one at the after top. another in a line, and the most shocking thing is that the figures are moving in the sky. Without any support, That's a road, isn't there it? are three figures in total, and upon examining the video, it can be seen that the figures are traveling on broomsticks. Oh, they might be going back to a witch's den. Maybe. Number six, the Levitating Who knows? Witch of Puerto Rico. 2015 gave us many amusing things, and this we video don't really is one know, of them too. We? Captured by the team from Ghost Shots, this is easily one of the spookiest videos ever. Okay. It shows a car dash cam on a police car, recording while the car is in an abandoned and creepy road with no lights around in Puerto Rico at 4 a.m. Suddenly, That's the car 12, slows down, and what you see next will definitely scare you. A woman is seen standing in the middle of a road while wearing a black and red dress confirming it's actually a witch. Where's the red dress? Am I seeing watching the same video he is? There's no red dress there. That looks like a teenager and with their arms... You know when they, they get really nervous, they're like 15-year-olds and they're like this. They sort of go in on themselves. Has she got any trousers on? She is standing in a very weird position, but just when you think it can't get scarier than this, she pulls her face up and opens up her arms wide. Maybe she's just lonely and asking for a hug. Whatever it is. Excuse me, hasn't she? She's got a headlamp on there. This has to be a setup. She's got a swimming costume on. There's some weird folk, isn't they? The scene is just truly terrifying. The police officers avoided making any physical encounter with the witch. Now I know Number it's five. not. Hang on, excuse me. Now I know that's not real. A police officer comes across what looks like a young girl in the middle of nowhere at 4 a.m. in the morning. They don't get out of the car and check it out. He's just said that they just don't even entertain it and they drive off. Hmm. Somebody's telling porkies. The Witch Hunt of Amherst. The Western Massachusetts Paranormal Video Society is responsible for the supernatural cool activities throughout the Northeast. As you have guessed it by now, witches come in that too. This team receives spooky videos from people. The experts analyze and come up with conclusions if they are real or not. This video must have given the investigators of the society plenty to think about. This clip shows a man come across what looks like a diabolical witch's hut. The hut is nothing ordinary. The man finds it decorated with bird bones, dead flowers, a scary stick. I'm sorry, this society must never have been to Thetford Forest, Sherwood Forest, just a normal forest near you. These kids, even school children go over there in groups and they build these things in the forest. It's like one of the things they do. And yeah, they make the crosses and the pentagrams and the... Because they don't know what they're doing. They just have a play with things. Oh, my God. This really is a Jack and Ori, isn't it? And a pentagram. I'm getting annoyed now. The man now. assumes that these things probably belong to a witch because they are often used for dark magic. This assumption becomes reality when the guy notices someone running into the forest. Could it be the witch herself? Number four. I'm the first person to sort of be open-minded enough to say, don't let's just write it off straight away, okay? You've got to be have a certain open mind for these things. But these are just kind of f fiction. They really are. That I don't see anything at the minute that could even be slightly real. I could be wrong. You let me know. Get in the comments and let me know what you think. A witch in a cave. You might have heard the saying, let's split up, in a crime movie. This is right, we should split up. Hubba, hubba. It actually never works <laughs> unless the Scooby-Doo gang does it. Two paranormal activity explorers entered a cave after a long day of no luck finding anything supernatural. They disappointedly entered the cave, but right here, their bad luck was going to turn around. Instead of splitting up, they wisely stayed together and explored the cave, one of them looking and the other one recording, in case they hit a jackpot with Why the Why are they all shit quality? And guess what? They actually do. A black shadow appears in the video for a split second, which is almost unnoticeable. What? But that isn't all. When they reached the end of the cave, they witnessed oh. what could be their first ever experience with a witch. A woman in black, shining in black daylight, can be seen levitating in the air. As soon as it gets aware, she flies on what could be her broomstick. The investigators tried to run outside and find her again, but with no luck. Now, that's, that's seriously pareidolia. I mean, it could be absolutely anything. It could be a bloody 
bin bag that's in the wind. It could be a dog. It could be a, an animal, a bird. could be another person. I suppose it could be a flying person as well, but we're not there, are we? But it's not enough. Number three, a witch caught in a magic ritual. A German journalist, Ralph Olsen, traveled to the rural parts of Africa after he heard about a powerful magician who displays his magic to the locals and tourists that oh, come Oh, bless to see him. him. This video recovery of position. Get him in the recovery position. And it He's shows a person a performing magic tricks <laughs> while smiling and showing off his shiny teeth. He just makes his own oh, ring of fire as well. and stands in the middle. He then opens his arms wide. Sorry, but has he got his underpants around his ankles? Uh, okay, maybe. The next thing you know, he's flying up in the air. The oh, video no, it's, is it's... just completely amusing. When the journalist okay. brought this video back to his news office, he was laughed at and later was fired from the job. Even today, he believed that the video is completely authentic and hasn't been tampered with. Now, if this was genuine, why... I don't know how long ago this was, but why have bunches of scientists not rushed over there to sort of get hold of this guy and just sort of video it properly? Yeah. What do you guys think? Nah. And number one, which found in an abandoned house. This video possibly shows the final moments of a supernatural activity enthusiast when he goes to discover an abandoned house. The man decides to enter the house in Oregon, despite its overgrown plantation and the warning signs that state, stay out. He bravely enters the house and starts looking around. Maybe he's looking for some value. I love investigating. Because he doesn't like find that. any ghosts there to record. But it is his lucky day, or as we should say, his last day. He notices a shadow of a woman in black. But even after this, he doesn't get scared and keeps exploring to find something more amusing. He reaches the kitchen and sees the woman in full black standing in front of him. That satisfies his ghost craving. Exploring to find something more amusing. He reaches the kitchen and sees the woman in full black standing in front of him. That satisfies his ghost cravings and he starts running for his life. He definitely needs to work on his video skills though because after he starts running, the video shows an annoyingly bumpy image of the ground. That last one, because I say, we're not there. It's really hard. And it's very, very easy for me to sit here and say, that's a lot of crap. We're not there. And unless I've done it, me, I've got the camera, I was there. And then I try and debunk it any which way I can. And I still can't. That is the only time I will say 100% that's genuine. But... We don't know. It was entertaining, though. Thank you, 50 mil vid. There you go, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it if you subscribe. By the way, it's free. You have to register with YouTube. It's actually a really cool thing. If you register with YouTube, you can do it via Facebook. It's a dead easy process. Subscribe to a channel like mine. Any videos you like, press the subscribe button. It helps the channel out. But also then YouTube gets to find out what kind of videos you're into. And then the next time you go on, you'll have all these super duper videos on that you like. It's got the same genre on it. So get subscribing. There's a couple of uh, likes. There's a like and a dislike in, down here. If you don't like it, give us that. If you like it, give us that. And comment underneath in the video. Let us know where you're from. It's, like I say, it's been a while since I've been doing this, so I hope to be doing a, a regular thing now. Let us know where you're from, what your name is, what kind of stuff that you've been into, what kind of stuff that you'd like to see more of. All right, till next time, guys. Catch you later. Bye.